still kind of in awe. No awesome. All right. Well, what is going on, everyone? Right now, we are out here in Ohio on our way to Michigan. So, I've never been to Michigan before. I'm very excited to run around there. I have a whole list of targets that I'm hoping to get. And right now we're 20 minutes away from the first target of the trip, which is Whooping Crane. So Whooping Crane is a endangered bird. All the way back in the 1940s, there were only about 20 Whooping Cranes left in the wild. And now I think the population is around 600 or something like that. So still not all that many, and they're still an endangered bird, but there's definitely more of them than there used to be, which is really nice. And there's one out here in Michigan. I think it's nesting. I don't know how recent it was seen. I know it was seen a few weeks ago. So it's gonna be a little bit, if we get this bird, it's really gonna, it's, it's gonna be really good because I don't know. I think there's a good chance I'm gonna get it because I think it's nesting, but it hasn't been seen in a few weeks. So we're gonna have to see. Hey, I need this to be uh, lower. <laughs> yes, low? Fulton County. Fulton County. Yeah, hey, can, uh, hey Mike, how are you? Into Michigan. You want to do over or something like that? A sign or something. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Is this something we would we would have oh, notification yeah, on? Or, or? No, yeah. We're, now we're in, in Michigan, this all we? the time. So do we have to set it yeah, at, at a certain Michigan. interval or something? With monumental. I thought that was going to be much bigger than that. But there we go. We're in Michigan. So we have made it out here to our first stop in southern Michigan just r right over the Ohio border pretty much looking for whooping crane somewhere along this road and hopefully it's still here I've never been to Michigan never been to any of these spots before so I don't really know what to expect let's see if we can find our whooping crane because that would be really cool oh, we got a dead snake oh no it's not dead it's not dead at all we got a snake I think I'm, I'm tempted to touch it, but I think this thing might be a uh, eraser, and they can bite. It's not poisonous. He bit me. No, it didn't. He just bit me. So right out here we have a dick thistle singing. You can hear it goes. It's like that. Ch -ch 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 that right there that's dick sissel i see it out there just really far not really good for photos or anything but that's awesome i haven't seen dick sissel in quite some time it's under I see, like I see it, this. there there's okay, the top of it i think that's it though it's really tucked in and i was looking in a little bit the wrong area yeah that's got to be it that's got to be it i think that's it Where are you looking? so you see that bush Yes. Like that big, like that main little bush, like kind of towards the uh, right of the pond. It's directly to the right of that. If you look directly to the right, see something white. I don't see anything white. Holy sh**. There's the whooping crane. I'm going to try to get some videos of it. I want to make sure I have the settings right on my phone. It's really far, but if you see that pond out there,
Do you guys see that white blob all tucked in? That's whooping crane. There, just pick the head up a little bit. It's massive. Whooping cranes are, I think they stand like four or five feet tall or something. Which if it's like five feet tall, that's my height because I'm 5'2". I think it, I'm not quite sure the exact height, but I know that they're crazy tall. part of Michigan when you look on the map this is this is referred to as a highway and it's a dirt road <laughs> surrounded by just fields and farm fields <laughs> this is crazy so I'm just still kind of in awe of that whooping crane that's probably the most endangered bird that I've ever gotten. I almost didn't get it. We drove past it so many times. And then, I don't know, they were talking about a whooping crane on eBird reports. Something about like ponds and stuff. And that was the only pond there that I'm like, you know what? Let me drive to the exact pin and look at that exact spot in that pond. And only when we were right at that pin, I was able to look back and see it tucked into the reeds. And really all I saw was just like white feathers. It's such an incredible way to start off the trip. Now, it's a little while later, probably about like four hours from the whooping crane to where we are just about at now. And we're gonna look for Brewer's Blackbird, which would be another lifer for me. It's kind of late. It's 7.30 right now. And we're gonna get there at 7.44. The thing is up here though, which is kind of interesting in, in Michigan is the sun sets really late up here. The sun doesn't set until like after nine, which is kind of different in New Jersey where even during the summer, it, the sun doesn't set until like, I don't know, like maybe like eight o'clock, like latest, like, so it's kind of cool. And then from here, we're gonna continue all the way up to the Upper Peninsula. So we're kind of, as you can probably tell, we're bouncing around a lot with this trip to a lot of different areas in Michigan to get a lot of different bird species. So we started off in the southern part of Michigan, right above Ohio for the whooping crane. Now we're kind of like in north central Michigan. And then for the next two days, we're gonna be birding around the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Altogether, to the spot where we're staying the night from my house in New Jersey was about a 14 hour drive, but it's taken longer than that and it's kind of been broken up, you know, with these different burning stops along the way. So I'm staying three nights total up here, two nights in the Upper Peninsula, and then for the final night, we're gonna stay further south for Kirtland's Warblers. They're a bird that was quite endangered for a while, but due to different conservation stuff, they've really made a comeback, which is really incredible. So, but anyway, Eight minutes away now from Brewer's Blackbird spot. Oh shit, that was freaking one, that was freaking one. Where'd it go? I wonder if we go down the road a little bit more. I wanna get a better view, but I think that was totally okay, one. Okay, so where did, which way? There, there's something in flight. Chase that bird down. There's a few of them, Ma. Guess what that little guy is? Life of Brewer's Blackbird right there, just crawling around. I was worried we were gonna get here too late in the day, but there he was. See if we get some decent shots too. Oh, these are the little jack pines. I think these are jack pine. Who the hell knows? Habitat I really didn't saw in the eBird report. Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. There's flying all over the place. There's one right by the road. Right. Oh yeah, I see them. Yeah, they're flying. So there's probably like six or seven. Probably more than I originally thought. So cool. Which 
sign straight in the middle of the road. Straight um, in the middle of the road. That's big. That's what Looks I'm like thinking, Chris. Looks like an elk. That could be an elk. You need your camera in it? It's a big deer. It's bigger than our deer. It's just a deer. That's a deer, never mind. Big, pretty deer. It's a big deer. Yeah, that's a deer. Doing? That's just a big deer, like big deer. I don't know where there's elk. I know there's. I know that there's elk in Michigan. I'm just not quite sure where. Here seems like it's good as far as any, but I don't know. It was a deer though, not an elk. So we're making our way up to the Upper Peninsula to our campground. And right here on this side is Lake Michigan. And then on this side over here is Lake Huron. So that is so cool. Where the two Great Lakes meet. First thing I've ever seen the Great Lakes. It is crazy to drive over them though, because they do, they totally look like the ocean. First ever views of any Great Lakes. There we go. It definitely looks different up here than it does where we were earlier. Oh, it's cold too. It's now 55. DK4, that's the one we reserved. Oh. Yeah, I would still eat that. No, it's not. But anyway, I'm thinking tomorrow we start off at the one grassland spot. It has the sharp-tailed grouse, the Lacan Sparrow, Upland Sandpiper. Or we could start off at the spot that Emily gave me and I'm unsure which I start off at. I mean, they're both about 40 minutes away. Let's see what time sunrise is. Sunrise is at 5.49 a.m. It's probably good to get there a little bit before sunrise. What? Five. 49 so basically 550 and both the, and the spots that I would hit tomorrow morning are both about 40 minutes away I would leave a little bit before 5 because we want to have a little bit like stuff starts calling before sunrise and in case I want to shoot the blue hour I'm just I'm on the side which spot I go to so we have made it and we are here right here in St. Ignace if I'm pronouncing that right our little cabin this cabin is actually really cool Got this nice like whole timber frame. So right now, current time is 11 o'clock. Just gonna get ready for bed. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna be heading out in search of sharp-tailed grouse, Leconte sparrow, clay-colored sparrow. Might even take some time to look for some spruce grouse around here if we have time. But tomorrow's gonna be really good. Tomorrow's gonna be the first like full day up here in Michigan. And I'm really excited for it. So day one was really successful. Two lifers, some nice shots of the Brewers Blackbirds and just incredible to see Whooping Crane, which is a bird that I've always wanted to see. Brewers Blackbirds are honestly, I thought they were gonna be kind of cool, but they do like just kind of look like a regular blackbird. But in person, they wound up being a lot cooler than I was expecting because they're just kind of like, in my opinion, they remind me of like a miniature common grackle rusty blackbird kind of looking bird. So they were actually really cool. Nice to get, honestly, a decent amount of those. Gonna wrap it up. I don't know, I don't, I have no idea really how much footage I accumulated today, whether or not this is gonna be a full video or if it's gonna be like today and then tomorrow is gonna be a full video, but whatever it is, hope you guys enjoyed day one up here in Michigan. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the morning on our first full day here in Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. And I'm very excited for it.